Hi everyone and welcome to Inspiration from Japan. That's a seasonal championship in spring of Series 7. And the car restrictions for it is Toyota cars in C-Class. So I could use the same Toyota 2000 GT that I used in the trial, but considering it's also a prize for this same championship, I decided to go for something else. So I'll be driving this 94 Celica tuned for you by PTG Predator. And as you can see, this is dirt racing and uh, we are having a little bit of a busy track right here. All of the cars are around us and there's like sandwich between this SUV and another car. But we managed to get past it and there's three laps here ahead of us, which is going to take a while. C-Class is not known for its high speeds and the laps on this track are pretty long. So... I expect to be able to overtake all the AIs before the first lap is over, but even if that's not the case, that shouldn't be long after. As you can see, I'm already at the back of the top three, passing this Celica here, a newer one than I am driving, but uh, I guess less rally one. So up in the second place, we'll see there's a few slower corners ahead which usually means AI is going to be breaking too much whoa I made a bit of a mistake and instead of passing the guy crashed right in his back wheel which is not ideal considering that he's probably twice as heavy as I am again another push at him and that kills my chances to actually overtake on the first lap that's quite a bit of a shame the thing is, the C-Class tunes usually lack uh, the power needed to do a proper slides that are kind of important in rally. When you slide just enough to maintain high speed to the corner, but not enough to actually lose it. Um, but yeah, just after the second lap has started, we passed the last AI. And now we are in the free air for next lap and a half will try to not do this too messy the track is not very difficult really but there's a few places in it which are kind of tricky the first corner is one of them and this is another the thing yeah there you go and i'm smashing right into the wall because the problem with these two places is there's a bump right on the braking zone so actually if you um, if you hit that bump, you are braking in the air, obviously not slowing down uh, because there's no more grip. And when you land, you don't have distance enough to actually finish the braking and end up in the wall just like I did. Luckily enough, we only have highly skilled driver tasks to worry about here, so they still have no chance whatsoever to take on us. But such a mistake in an online racing will almost surely um, cost you a few places especially because you'll probably get uh, the penalty for wall riding which will slow you even further so uh, keep that in mind or oh, once again it's uh, the corner uh, let me see mm, yeah right here there's a there's a bump before the corner so if you go a little bit too hot uh, you jump up and uh, lose just enough braking to not make it before the wall. But uh, obvious solution for that is braking a little bit earlier, positioning your car correctly for the corner and then powering your way through what's left of the corner. Let's try to not smash the wall this time, yeah. Uh, just now the water helps a bit because water slows you down as well. So, even if you missed a little bit of braking, uh, that's okay. But if, again, if you're too fast and jump up, that becomes a problem. Uh, not much to say more about this track. We're gonna finish the lap quite soon. This section here, usually in a higher classes, you, you just go th full throttle there and just slide nicely and beautifully. It's a little bit harder in this car, as I said, lack of power lets itself known. Well, there's no AIs anywhere behind, I guess they're all you now driving, driving, yeah, in a one nice tidy train. 
by the rubber band algorithm and this is the end of the first race almost five minutes so it's gonna be a pretty long video with three races like that being ahead of us but let's move on to the next one so the second race La Selva Scramble if I'm not mistaken that's also a reasonably long one and we still have three laps in it I would probably in the lower slower classes uh, prefer to have two laps per race but uh, I don't know in general the uh, all three seasonal championships this week are in the slower category there's two in C class and even one in D class so it's gonna take you some time to drive around those but let's concentrate on one race at a time again this silver Celica falls back behind us not being able to keep up and again just top three ahead of us there's no SUVs ahead this time so uh, that's probably kind of interesting we pass our friend Fluix right there and off we go to chase the top two again I expect to be ahead by the end of lap one really yep nicely and without any problem as you can see the tune works just well uh, I don't think it's something oh well you can't take it online right anyways because uh, custom racing is limited to B class at the lower end and only goes up from there I'm not sure why C class uh, is not allowed uh, in online racing probably because the races take w would take too long in that uh, case I'm pretty sure they play tested it uh, at some point and decided that it's not fun enough to fill in lobbies in either case we only use this tune then in AI racing I'm not sure how it would perform on Rivals, I didn't test it there, I have to admit I was confident enough to not really do any prep. Um, I think I looked at Trueno as well before choosing this Celica, but I didn't find the tune that I would like for it in C-Class obviously, so this Celica is a way to go for me let me know what you chose to drive but it almost I guess doesn't matter in the lower classes we are way ahead and I think I gonna just fast forward from here to the end of the race to not bore you with just hot lapping from here on so we'll move on to the third race right away So here I'm back a couple of minutes later on River Scramble, another circuit for the championship. Again, the championship with all three circuits, no sprints. And in lower classes that means even longer. So I guess this one is going to be close to five minutes again. The River Scramble is a nice and fun track with a lot of corners to cut to be honest. So uh, if you look at the rivals times, there's a lot of interesting racing lines in it but uh, let's first overtake everybody so we up in the fourth place right away passing that uh, truck nicely and neatly and that was a bit of a luck because uh, at some point I was a bit worried that they're gonna crash into end of it and that would slow me down but that didn't happen so here we are just chasing the same pair that was in the front of the pack in the previous race but they are not gonna hold this leadership for much longer as you can see I'm closing the gap all the time and this section here has a bunch of corners where AI 
is gonna slow down quite significantly but you don't need to it's really flat out right here so past one mm, crashed into another if I didn't crash into him I would be ahead already but here we are passing for the first place now a little bit of breaking here because otherwise you uh, be smashing the wall and this section here may be a little bit tricky because you are changing your direction back and forth and that may result in more of uncontrollable drift which you don't really need but otherwise we manage that so nicely and neatly in the first place again we'll probably do the same thing as with the race number two so drive a little bit around here just to show you the the clean air section if it's of any interest to anybody then I will fast forward all the way to the end and say my thanks there or oh, actually I guess we'll stop it at now I'll fast forward to the finish and I'm really grateful for anyone who puts their time into watching my stuff I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next championship really really soon.